you can never calculate quality we can only grade them but if you need to calculate something it is the quantity the price has come out so what should come in quantity should come in what will come first standard will come first material cost variance in the sense how much is the cost of the total material and what is the variance of each that is what we are supposed to determine whenever you write rupees you don't need to write minus negative Hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all I'm Abhilash Chandra from the Department of Commerce and Management in Vidyashram First Grade College the Temple of Excellence welcome to all the students for the second session of management accounting in that we are in the last chapter called standard costing the second session is all about the formulas i told you in the first session that what exactly i'll be doing in the second session yes let's go with the formula now i told you that in management accounting any formulas which you give it to me i'll give you the trick how to remember as well as to understand and what exactly you are supposed to do is if you like the video please do share the video and comment on the video how exactly you felt so when we go with the formula please understand we have the first thing that is we need to calculate material what is that we need to calculate we need to calculate material now in material what are the variances so for that what exactly you need to do is we need to know in material what all can be calculated that is quality is there quantity is there let me be very honest with you we can never calculate quality we can only grade them but if you need to calculate something it is the quantity so we'll calculate quantity quantity and one more is that that is the price now how the price will be allotted is per kg how much so this is the total quantity and this is price per the kg or per unit per kg like that that means for 1 kg how much so we have quantity and we have price and i told you when it comes to material what happens is we have two one is standard standard another we have a something called as actual actual so that means what standard quantity standard price one more is actual quantity actual price so we'll write like this so material is here material will be divided into two one is standard another is actual now in standard we have to quantity price the same way in actual also we have to quantity and price so we got what in material we have to standard actual in standard we have quantity and price actual also quantity and price what will come in the standard the same thing will go with the actual also so here what happens is if you understand this is called sq and this is called sp what is it sq and sp same way here aq and we have ap so totally we got four of the items what exactly any time whenever you calculate material variances these boxes you are supposed to make write this sq sp aq ap and you are supposed to go with the formulas what is the sq quantity total quantity what the standard has mentioned here you will write in the quantity the price per quantity how much it is you will write here that is all standard what the company has given actual is what the employees have done that is actual quantity how much they have used and for 1 kg how much actual price you have given that is what the word is what given here aq is produce these are the produce these are the quotations these are what the actual figures so this is what it is let me just erase uh, these for you people now i'll go with the formulas so i told you about the material and we are calculating what material variances material variances when we go with material variances 
there are three types of variances. How many types? Three types are there. What are the types? Here we have price, usage, and then we have cost. So there are three variances. Material price variance, material usage variance, and material cost variance. How to remember these kind in the sense? We will just rearrange it. Now when we rearrange it, what happens? I'll just tell you here. We go with this concept, right? You all know CPU. How to remember this formula? CPU. Now you write material variance, material variance, material variance, material variance. Now what has happened is price usage cost, material cost variance, material price variance, material usage variance. Now I have done this, I have rearranged my formulas. So there are three formulas which I need to remember. There are how many formulas? Three formulas which I need to remember. So what exactly the formulas are? First one, here I'll write the second one. The third one, you will only tell me how exactly the thing goes. With. So here it is, right here, C, P, and U. So here, material cost variance, material price variance, and material usage variance is equal to, is equal to, is equal to. Now we know that we have something called SQ and SP. This is a standard. And we have something called actual AQ and AP. So what is this? Standard quantity and standard price, actual quantity and actual price. Whenever you remember this formula, how exactly you are supposed to go? These are called the Abhilash Chandra Trex CPU. You just write material variance, material variance, material variance. Now here, MCQ. Material cost variance in the sense, how much is the cost of the total material and what is the variance of each? That is what we are supposed to determine. So here you need to group two things. One here, one here. What you should do is first always the first thing is standard will come first okay so group the standard in one corner so what it does sq into sp what did i do i calculated the standard first now here i'll write aq into ap and whenever i compare standard with actual the function here is negative that is i need to subtract standard minus actual that is my material cost variance now how to go with mpv is equal to block the first one completely what is the first thing here aq you bring this aq here into now quantity has come out what should come in is price should come so i told you always the first thing is the standard which comes first so here what it does sp minus ap so this is my formula for mpv see the word p is here what should come in price should come in what will come first standard will come first next i'll go with i'll block the first one so here after that what is it sp is there now that should come here so sp bracket now price has come out what should come in quantity should come which will come first standard will come first so it is sq minus aq so this is the formula which you are supposed to go if they give you a question saying standard is so and so actually so and so please calculate the material variances you should calculate three material variances which are the material cost variance material price variance material usage variances these variances you are supposed to calculate and the formula you are supposed to use later i'll tell you how exactly you are supposed to go with next let's go with the problem the first problem is here standard quantity is equal to 500 kgs they have given standard price is equal to 2 rupees 50 paisa per kg see the word per kg is there that means that, that is a price actual quantity is 550 kgs next Actual price is 3 rupees per kg. So they have given directly. In this problem, what is it? They have given directly. What is that they want us to find? Calculate material price variance, material cost variance, 
and material usage variance. Now, there are three. Now, I know that. I will not go with these calculations. I will go with something else. What is it? I will just write C, P, U. That is material cost variance, material price variance and material usage variance. Now, I know how to go with the formula. How is the formula? Cost in the sense, I will do this minus so SQ into SP, always you go with Q and then P. Quantity should always come first, then the price. Then here AQ into AP. Block the whole, what is the first one? AQ, I'll write AQ here. Now quantity has come out. What is this formula? P in the sense price, what should come in? P should only come, that means here, which will come first? Standard price minus actual price. Now I'll block AQ here. What is the first one here? SP. I'll write SP here. Price has come out. So what should come in? Quantity should come in. What will come first? Standard will come first. Standard quantity minus actual quantity. Now I'll solve the problem. What will I do? MCV is there. I'll substitute SQ and SP. I'll substitute here 500 kg into 2 rupees 50 paisa. It is not 250. It is 2 rupees 50 paisa. So let's start. Let's go with the first one here. MCV is equal to SQ into SP minus AQ into AP. Done. See, I'm writing the formulas in number of time because that is how you will understand as well as remember the formulas. Now, SQ is how much we are supposed to actually check. Now, our SQ is what? We'll just uh, erase these things. Done. So my SQ is 500 kgs here. So I'll write here 500 into it's go with the bracket selling price. It is not selling price. It is standard price. Please don't get confused with selling price and standard price. Now here standard price 2 rupees 50 paisa. So I'll write here 2.5 2.5 minus now AQ is how much? AQ is 550 and actual is 3. So I'll write here 550 into 3. Now let me take the calculator here. Now we have the calci. Let's go with the calci. 500 into 2.5 is equal to 1250 is equal to 1250 minus now 550 into 3 is equal to 1650 is equal to now this all mcv mcv is equal to now we need to subtract that minus 400 minus 400 rupees it's all what minus 400 rupees but let me just give an explanation here students whenever you write rupees you don't need to write minus negative the reason I'll tell you why. We don't have anything called minus 5 rupees, minus 10 rupees. If you ask anybody, give me minus 5 rupees, will you say that? You will tell, give me 5 rupees. Now, after when you take it, you are supposed to return 5 rupees, isn't it? So, we will not calculate minus or something. It is value is what? Rupees. So, MCV is equal to 400 rupees. But in the bracket, you will write unfavorable. What is that you will write? You will write unfavorable. If it is positive, you will write what? Favorable. So here, what is it? It is MCV is equal to 400 rupees. Unfavorable. That is how you will end the answer. Next one is, let's go with MPV is equal to. How to go with MPV in the sense the price should be there, right? So the formula is what? AQ SP minus A. How to remember the formula? Very simple. SQ into SP. This is SP. Minus AQ into AP. Now this AQ is the first one. Here it will come. That is how you are supposed to go. Now AQ is how much? We know that AQ is 550 bracket. SP is how much? 
2 rupees 50 paisa minus AP is how much? 3 rupees. So I'll write here that. Okay. Now 2.50, 3.00. So here what happens is 550 minus 0 0.50. That is 50 paisa minus 50 paisa. So we'll calculate here. 550 into 0.5 is equal to 275. Now again here also what happens? 275 rupees unfavorable. Unfavorable because plus into minus is minus. So it is what minus 275. Instead I'll write what 275 rupees unfavorable. So this is my MPV. Done. Next, we are supposed to go with this next one that is C, that is MUV is equal to what is MUV is equal to SP. Price has come out, so what will come in quantity? First is standard minus AQ. Now, what is the standard price here is equal to 2 rupees 50 paisa into SQ in the sense 500 kg minus AQ in the sense 550 kg is equal to, now understand 2.50, I'll write the same thing, 2.50 here minus 50, minus 50. Now take your calci, 2.5 into 50, 125. So here is equal to, this is MUV is equal to minus 125. So therefore, MUV is equal to 125 rupees. Again, it is unfavorable. So, the entire problem we got what? Unfavorable. How to know that whether we have done right or wrong? This is the verification which I will tell you people. Please understand. We will go back to the question here. MUV is 125. Then we have MPV is 275. And then we have MCV is 400. So let's go with this. MCV is equal to 400 unfavorable. MPV is equal to, how much is MPV? 275. So I'll write here 275. Again, unfavorable. Then MUV is equal to, how much you got? MUV, that is 125. How much you got? 125. So 125. Again, it is unfavorable. How to calculate whether it is right or wrong is the verification formula is that that verification formula is MCV is equal to MPV plus MUV. So right hand side should be equal to left hand side. So MCV is how much? Minus 400 is equal to see only in the verification you will use the minus symbol here. Minus 400 is equal to minus 275 plus or minus in the sense again minus it is 125. So here minus 400 is equal to if you calculate this you will get what minus 400 only then your answer is correct. That is how you will get 10 marks. Easy for you people if you feel so please like and share as well as comment for how well we have solved this formula. So we have done here, that is MCV we have found, that is 400, which is 400 rupees unfavorable. MPV we went, rupees 275, again unfavorable. And then we went with MUV, the usage variance, we got 125 rupees, again unfavorable. Any doubt regarding this session, please do call us, we are always there to help you. Thank you so much, I'll see you when I see you.